Hello, my name is October, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to perform and interpret a pair sample test or a dependent t test based on some data using SPSS program. For example, you have 25 students who were selected to take a 15 week aviation online course that will prepare them to operate a control panel on a plane. First step you will need to do is input your variables. You go down to the bottom of the screen where it says variable view, click on that tab and underneath the name column you will input your variables. In this case it will be our pretest and our post test. In a column where it says decimals, you can change it from 2 to 0. On the bottom of your lower left hand screen, click data view. You will see the titles. We have our pre and post test. The first column over will be the number of students. In this case, we have 25 students. Underneath your pretest, you put your pretest scores. I'm just showing you a demonstration how to input your scores. Over to the post test column. I'm going to change this to a 30. Alright, in lieu of time, I'm going to switch over to a document where I already included all of the pre and post test scores. If you notice, I have all of them in the columns for pre and post tests. Next step, you will go to the top of your page and click on analysis. Move down to where it says compare means. Then you move over to your drop down menu, click on pair sample t-test. Over to your left column, you will click on the arrow here to import your pretest and your protest, post test, excuse me, variables. Click on options and you will see you have 95%, which you can keep that. Then you click on OK. The next document you will see is your pair sample statistic data analysis. Just going to slide it over so you can see the full view. If you look under the post test column where it says your means, you have a 50.92. 
with the standard deviation of 9.28 and your post test you have a 69.60 and a standard deviation of 9.11 If you look down at the bottom, you will see your pair sample test results. If you go over to your far right, you will see the T score is a minus 26.53 with a 24 degrees of freedom and a significant or p value of 0.000. .000. Since the p-value is less than 0 .5, 0 0.005, based on the results, it is confirmed that there was a significant difference between the pair sample pretest and the post-test. The results confirmed that the students who attended the Aviation Online course were successful and maneuvering the control panels. This concludes the lesson.